Aver? I'm scared. No! So we get a lot. It didn't make sense. How do I say this? That's hard to say. I really don't know. Hey fellow fiction fanatics, I'm Chase. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my monthly wrap up for November. In November I was able to read five books, so let's get into it. The first book I read is Sheets by Brina Toomler. So this is a short graphic novel which features a ghost named Wendell and a girl named Marjorie who's running her family's laundromat after her mom dies. So the things that I liked about this book were that it was a quick read. I really liked how the art style was done because in the ghost world it was void of color and I thought that was really cool. But that's pretty much all I liked about this book. I wish there had been a better established friendship between Wendell and Marjorie. It was just like, oh my gosh, there's a ghost. We can sort of be friends. Oh, betrayal. But yay, he fixes everything in the end. Instead, I wish that Marjorie and Wendell had met and formed a friendship, and then Wendell sees the problems arise and he wants to help, and then accidentally causes more trouble for Marjorie. So there's like a big fight between them, and then he comes in and helps and saves the day, but we didn't get that. If there had been a friendship better established in this book, I think it would have made me care more about the characters and really helped the story grow, and I think it would have enjoyed it better then. And what was the villain's plan? It made absolutely no sense that he was gonna build a spa at the laundromat and then the romance at the end that was just out of the blue I had no idea that he even liked her or that she even liked him I was really hoping to like this book I thought it was gonna be a cute fun little graphic novel and unfortunately I had to give it two stars but this book did complete my challenge to read a book with a character who is non-human the next book I read is the Scorpio races by Maggie Steve Otter in Thisbe, there's the race of the Kapil Ishka, which are killer water horses, which is both terrifying and insanely cool at the same time. And this is called the Scorpio Races. I was expecting this thrilling, extensive race between all these characters and these killer horses facing deadly obstacles. And instead we focus on everything leading up to the races and the races go by pretty quickly. It was more like a sprint. It wasn't bad, it was just not what I was expecting. I liked the character Sean Kendrick. I thought it was so cool that he just had a way with the Kapil Ishka like no one else. And the relationship between him and his horse, it's like they were one. I just really enjoyed that. This book was just slower paced and just didn't really resonate with me emotionally. I didn't care for the romance aspect. I thought it was unnecessary, but to each his own. And for me, the ending was just unsatisfying. It left me wanting more in not a good way. So I just didn't really love the ending. So for these reasons, I gave this book three stars. I just don't think Maggie Steve Otter is an author for me, but that's okay. So the next book I read is The Tyrant's Tomb by Rick Riordan. This is the fourth book in The Trials of Apollo, so I can't really say much about it, but I will say that we are back at Camp Jupiter, so we get to see a lot of the characters that we know and love from there. I really loved the humor in this, and I enjoyed being back with all my favorite characters from Camp Jupiter and all the new characters that were introduced. The only thing I can say that I'm not enjoying about this series is what's with the scary birds? The second one had battle ostriches, which does not help my fear. The third one had like killer owls that want to eat you and are poisonous and now they're giant crows. Rick Riordan, you are not helping my phobia with birds. Also, I'm not ready for the finale. I don't want it to end. I really love this series and although I'm really scared, I am excited to get to the next one. And I gave this book five stars. And it completed my challenge to read a book that is a Goodreads award winner. So I also picked up Camp Jupiter Classified by Rick Riordan. This is the fourth book I've read out of Rick Riordan's little companion novels that he has within the Percy Jackson world. And unlike his other companion novels, which are usually a collection of short stories, within the Percy Jackson world. This is the journal of Claudia, a camper at Camp Jupiter. I really liked getting to know her and her story. I thought the plot was really cool, I loved the characters, and I loved getting to know more about Camp Jupiter. Camp Half-Blood Confidential? 
I think it's probably the weakest of the companion novels. So I was really tentative to pick up this one, but I'm really glad that I actually picked this up. So my only dislike is that Camp Half-Blood Confidential kept me from picking this one up. But I gave this little novella five stars. And the last book I read is Mastering Our Mountains by Jennifer Baker, Craig Nielsen, Kim O'Neill, Jojo Townsell, Veronica Rosenfeld, Colleen Butler, Joel Peterson, Jeff O'Neill, Tamara Baker, and myself. This is a great collection of inspirational stories about overcoming obstacles and mastering our mountains. I share a bit of my own story going through cancer and how I was able to overcome this difficult obstacle in my life. I really loved reading all these inspirational stories and learning more about each of these individual authors. I really enjoyed working on this project and I would love for you to check it out. It's now on Amazon as an ebook and a physical book. All the profits will be donated to the nonprofit organizations Chemo Buddies for Life, Hats and Hair from Kids Who Care, and RIP Medical Debt. I'll leave a link for that in the description box below. I want to thank everyone who has already supported us. I am pretty biased about this book because I was a part of this project, but I would give it five stars and I'd love for you to check it out. So those are the five books I was able to read this month. I'd love to know books that you were able to read in November and let me know if you've read any of these and what you thought of them. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to share the love. I'll see you next time. Bye!